that's like the first question because a lot of people will go, is it a trend? Should we be eating this much protein? Can we get enough on our diet? How much is enough? It's quite embarrassing to say this, like after doing this for so long and looking at the research, I did the calculation looking at what I was consuming and I was massively under consuming. My sort of party line prior to this was, we don't need to worry about protein. We need to be worrying about fiber. And one of the things I got wrong was protein. Dr. Rupi Ajla is a medical doctor and best-selling author, redefining healthcare by putting food and protein at the heart of medicine. Got a real like nutrition pro to sit alongside me and tell me what happened back in 2009 that made you redirect this path. I had my first episode of atrial fibrillation and what I thought was going to be like a one-off episode actually started happening two to three times per week. The one person who said like I should really think about my diet and lifestyle was my mum. In came leftovers, in came nuts and seeds, in came a more plant-based approach. How do you encourage somebody to look at their meal? What we should be leaning into more of is plant-based proteins. You're not only getting the protein, but you're also getting the fiber. You're getting a really good dose of this anti-inflammatory medicine. And I have this thing called BBGs. Beans, berries, greens, seeds, and nuts every single day. You all laugh because you know what I'm about to bring up. I was like reading today's interview and thinking, what else is really on topic right now? <laughs> and I'm just going to throw in an IV drip for yeah, NAD. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the fact that people can say, oh, okay, well, we're going to take this and it's going to somehow get from your bloodstream into your mitochondria and it's going to have this magnificent benefit on longevity, I think is real, real far stretched. Where actually, if you want the best bang for your buck, if you're interested in mitochondrial health, which people should be, 